Hi guys, it's Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. Today I'm doing some more, um, some more Halloween crafting using the new Better Press Halloween collection from Spellbinders. I did do a video on last week actually using a couple of the plates and my glimmer system. This time I'm finishing up with using all of those fun images and using my Better Press system. So you'll see here I've got the platinum. I believe the platinum and the chase one's one and one's the other I don't remember which is which but I've got a piece of cardstock just regular cardstock on the clear plate and I've got the cute little icons on there positioned so they're basically one in each of the quadrants so I can use this one pass to make four cards this system makes stamping so super easy for you to just in one go get a perfect stamping. I absolutely love this. I do need to start using some of the um, better press paper because you do get that impression and that lovely, lovely texture, but not so much when you use just regular cardstock. And I've been using a lot of regular cardstock because you know what? I love this system and I love the way it works, um, but I don't have a lot of the other paper, so. I need to order some anyway. So I just used my paper trimmer to trim down each of those four little images, same size, and now I'm going to back it on some black cardstock so I can have just a little, you know, frame or matting layer around each of those cute little images. For the sentiments for these cards, I'm using the Better Press plate that came in this icons set, and it includes a die, and it has a bunch of little sentiments. So now I'm just going to cut them out. I went ahead and stamped them down using the Better Press system twice. So now I'm going to have two of each of them. I've got some that are in black and some that are in a mixture of black and purple. I think that's going to be kind of cool. So I'll go ahead and cut those out, and then I'll have plenty for all of my cards. Now I'm making these cards really quick and simple. What I've done is I've gone through my stash with some of the backgrounds that I really haven't used for anything, mostly because, you know, some of them, I didn't really like the way they turned out for the cards that I had intended them for. So for Halloween, it's perfect. So right now I'm just adding some um, liquid glue to the back of some foam tape, and I'm gonna put this one embossed panel down. Uh, the embossed panel is actually pretty cool because I use some black pigment ink to kind of do the coloring on it. And it does turn out really neat, but it just didn't work for any of the cards I was working on. This is gonna be perfect for a Halloween card. And then I can just add my foam Focal image and sentiment and the cards all done. Yeah, like I said, these are pretty quick and simple. I am pretty much wanting to use up a bunch of my background. So I'm going to go ahead and go through a few of those. And then I've got another background panel that I kind of want to add a little bit more to. Now this focal panel that I've got here is one that I stamped out using the Better Press. So I did do the Better Press letter press in there. And I used some of the black and purple ink on that. So that was kind of cool. Um, the purple ink is a um, archival ink. And then the black, of course, is the Better Press black archival. And now I've decided, you know, I don't want it to be stark white. So I'm adding some additional color using some of my Distress Ink Cubes. Now this little pack of uh, Distress Ink Cubes sits off the side of my desk. I can bring it in whenever I want to do a little bit of quick ink blending. Um, this one I'm actually going to add a little bit more ink blending, adding color all over that panel, but leaving parts of it still white like the tombstone. And I really like the way that this one turned out. It does turn out pretty cool. One thing I love about these Distress inks is that they are water reactive. So I am going to spritz this panel with just some plain water, add a little bit of water splatters. And I'm going to blot off that extra water because I want it to dry pretty quick. But look at that fabulous texture on there. I absolutely love this, especially at Halloween. 
These colors are going to work great for this additional embossed panel, again, where I use the black pigment ink. I believe it was Versafine. Anyhow, um, where I used that on the embossing folder, I will show you guys how I did that at some point. But the colors just match perfect because that was a green panel and it's got the green in the for the grass area. Anyway, um, adding that panel down and some liquid glue and that's going to finish up that card. So for this next one, um, this panel is actually a panel where I had done some cleanup from, believe it or not, birthday stencils. Um, this time, but it did add that cool texture. So this time I did do a little bit of ink smushing down with some additional purple and pink because this was mostly pink. And then I'm grunging up the edges with that black soot ink. This is going to make this panel still kind of pink, which I think goes kind of good with those little ghosties holding hands, but still it's going to grunge it up enough to make it a perfect Halloween background. The background I'm using for this next card is pretty light. This one is one where I had done a little bit of the cleanup from when I was doing distress sprays on a spider web stencil. This is something I did in one of my live streams. I believe it was a couple of weeks ago. And then I decided to use the spider web better press and hot foil on top of it with some fun foil. So I've got that going on as a background. Don't want to cover all of it up, but I think it makes it for kind of a cool texture. And so for that reason, I'm not going to really put a lot of work into the foil image instead I'm just adding some ink to the edges and trying to be a little bit messy to kind of grunge it up a little bit more mostly using this purple color then I'm just gonna glue everything down I'm going down straight on just like I've done the other ones just with some liquid glue and this time I decided to grunge up the sentiment just a little bit too to make it pop a little bit more with that purple ink For this next card, the background is a panel where I cleaned up, I believe it was, I'm not even sure, but it was some kind of gold something that it was kind of grungy, but it was just a cleanup panel that I'm using as a background and putting on another one of those spider web cleanup panels and putting this skull down and putting the little sentiment down and that's going to finish up that card. So I'm loving how all of the cards look, but yeah, I decided I want to add a little bit of bling, especially since I do have some green and purple gems that I think are just perfect for Halloween. So I'm just going to add a few little gems on some of these cards. I think I put them on most of them and uh, that's going to finish all of these cuties up. So that's going to finish up this, <laughs> yeah, this video uh, featuring the Better Press Halloween collection from Spellbinders. Uh, yeah, I have a tendency on some of, some of the things I kind of go crazy and just can't stop. So here's the first card that I made in the live stream on Tuesday, the 15th of October. Super pretty. Um, using hot foil with your your better press plate so you can use hot foil with your better press plates do not do not do not use the better press system with your hot foil plates so we've got that one and then all these goodies um this one where i use another of the better press plates and did a hot foil background on a background that i already had a little bit of the um distress mica stains on there and i think that turned out really cool even though i did cover most of it up but anyway i think that turned out to be a super cute card we've got this one that has got some um i think this was just some some cleanup from solar paste i believe not 100 percent sure but it was a panel just in my stash most of this it just came from things that i had in my stash that i had not used yet so you're wicked cute then we've got this when we did some ink blending on this cutie pie little ghost uh, 
fantastic jack-o'-lantern and our little ghosty um duo here so you guys have a wonderful wonderful day be sure to check out this playlist for some more videos where i'm using spellbinders products as well as my halloween 2023 playlist because there's lots of videos there already and there's lots more to come you guys have a wonderful day and i will talk to you soon bye guys